Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It seems like a lot of people liked my last video about Chinese clothing history and the marking the waterline technique. So I thought it would be interesting doing a couple more videos about traditional Chinese cloth making technique. Today I'll be showing you something I've wanted to share for a long time, which is making organic free check. I'm calling it organic fray check, but it's basically a wheat paste that's quite similar to paper mache paste, only that the consistency is different. However, I do think Chinese people are among the few that actually uses the paste as fray check rather than glue. It is also used to starch fabrics for membrane color and bias binding, but that will be for another video. The supplies needed are quite simple. You only need a cup or a small teapot, some low gluten flour, and a spoon. You also need to boil some hot water. I prefer to use stove instead of electric kettle. I keep the fire on throughout the entire process so that the water is always at its highest temperature. Pour the flour into the cup. Leave some open space in the middle and add a little bit of boiling water in there. Let it sit and soak through for a minute or so and mix the flour with the water. Some of the flour is already cooked by the hot water, but the rest is still pretty dry. Keep adding more water a little bit at a time until the flour becomes a big chunk of dough. Now fill the cup with boiling hot water, make sure that the flour dough is completely soaked in water and let it sit for a minute. You can poke a couple holes in the dough with the spoon handle to let the water through. Drain the water. Stir and mix the dough until there are fewer lumps left. Repeat the same steps. Pour boiling water into the cup, wait for one minute, drain the water and start mixing. As more water is blended into the mixture, it gets smoother and more paste-like. Usually it takes 3-4 to four repeats to get to a good consistency, but it might be different depending on the type of flour you're using. Either way, the end result should look somewhat like this, with a smooth, glossy, and sticky texture, kind of like honey or whipped cream. Now I'm going to show you how to use this paste as fray check. This is a piece of scrap fabric that frays quite easily. I trimmed away a little bit of the fabric so that I have a clean edge to start with. Traditionally, you would use a very thin bronze paste knife. These knives are hard to come by outside of China, but a good alternative could be a discarded credit card or a store card, which is what I've been using. Scoop up some paste with the card and spread it evenly on your palm. Pick up just a little bit of the paste using the short end of the card. Press down the wrong side of the fabric firmly with the side of one hand and apply the paste with the other hand holding the card like so. I usually start 5mm away from the edge, although in some cases when there's not enough seam allowance left, the fray check would only be 3mm wide. You want to press it just hard enough so that the paste gets onto the fabric but doesn't leave a heavy trace. You can also do the same thing on the curved edge. Here's what it looks like when the paste is fully dried. Although there's a little bit of yarn coming out in some spots, the edge is a lot less likely to fray or come apart. The good thing about this organic fray check is that if the edge gets too stiff, you can use your nail to scrape off the extra paste to make it softer. 
and it barely shows on the outside of the fabric. Another trick is to use the paste before cutting out a piece of fabric. Here's the placket of the 1920s jacket blouse I'm currently making. I applied the paste 3mm away from the cut edge on both sides so that once I cut the placket open, it won't fray at all. That's it for today's video. I hope you find this technique interesting and I'd love to see you guys give it a try. Leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.